Have you heard the advice, play more? If you haven't, you probably made your account yesterday. It's the phrase all improvement advice is reduced to, for good reason. I'm going to discuss why the simplicity of that phrase is actually its most powerful aspect. Only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you want more improvement videos, subscribe! It's free and you can always change your mind in the future. This is a cautionary tale about taking a positive thought process, reviewing your play to assess mistakes and learn from them, to such an extreme that it becomes a burden. Many people, including myself, take the game seriously and search for different ways to improve. However, this can be extorted to the point where you believe there's always a more efficient improvement method that you simply haven't found yet. Perfectionism in this form usually manifests as people asking if they're a good rank for their playtime, associating tangible improvement with activities that are not OS related, or coming up with some outlandish routine. I have two core pieces of advice to handle that perfectionistic tendency. There's no ideal improvement method for anyone, and you need to stop overthinking. The concept behind an ideal improvement method appears when people start comparing themselves to others who have played the game for an equal amount of time, yet see a large discrepancy in skill. You can draw multiple conclusions from this scenario to try and justify the gap. The skilled player must have used a better improvement method, have better genetics, used better rapid trigger settings, have a better grip, or any other potential excuse. Overthinking this situation can lead you to idolize the other player. Their improvement method must have been perfect. They're amazing at everything they play. They've never hit a roadblock of their own, etc. This minimizes all the work the skilled player has dedicated to the game, which is unproductive for helping you improve. No one is perfect, and no one has a perfect improvement method that will work for everyone. People can unintentionally feed into this mentality by ravaging others for advice or analyzing replays literally every single time they miss. Don't do these things. You are draining the joy out of improving by reviewing your play on such a microscopic level that you are blind to macroscopic progress. Plus, in most cases, you should be able to identify why you missed during a score without the assistance of external tools anyway. If you have to process every replay to find why you missed, that indicates you haven't learned from your previous mistakes and are more likely to plateau. Instead of utilizing external tools, start looking for generalized patterns with your misses. Are you over-aiming or under-aiming often? Consistently over-streaming or losing finger control easily? Losing focus during full combo runs and missing in places you really shouldn't? Once you've identified a pattern within your misses, you can expand your map library accordingly. For the aim issue, I would suggest picking up funky aim control maps that have patterns which aren't completely geometric. The finger control issue can be solved by playing some lower tempo alt maps. Mastering your focus during full combo runs is mostly trial by fire. Eventually, you will have been in that situation so many times that holding a full combo doesn't phase you anymore. The purpose of this exercise is reviewing your play with a broader perspective instead of analyzing individual misses. You're not going to improve by reviewing a single miss, telling yourself, I'm not going to miss that one note and then replaying the entire map again, focusing on that one note. Thinking too much about that one note can place too much pressure on hitting it, making you more nervous and causing a different miss that wasn't originally a problem. Overthinking about improvement can place you in a paralysis, where you think that any map you play is not worth playing because you should be playing a different map that would help you improve more. Just play the game. It works. Playing the game is more productive than thinking about the game. You should still exercise the core tenets of improving at anything, pushing your limits, giving yourself adequate rest time, and training the fundamentals. Beyond that, try not to think too much about it. 
A common objection to not overthinking something you care deeply about is the question of failure. Obsessively thinking about it is the reason why you were successful in the first place, so sacrificing that seems like a major detriment. In reality, fighting the overthinking mentality is a way to make your sessions healthier and restores the joy you feel when improvement becomes tangible. What matters is that you're better than the last time you played, even if it's by a small amount and only one skill set. Trying to ponder your play on a deeper level that involves nitpicking individual misses or comparisons to other players will only dampen your feelings about your improvement efforts. No game is worth destroying your mind and attitude. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.